Hey everyone, David Almer guy here. Today, it's a new blaster and not at the same time. It's gonna be another Chronos, but this one's a little cooler. It's a brand new Deadpool Chronos with the X Force look and the phone chimichanga. Welcome to Tag. That brand new Nerf Rival Chronos. Hmm, the previous one were really, really nice. The twin pack uh, with the message on it and everything. But this one is more of an X Force color. As you can see in here, it's the X Force. Oh, that thing is cool. Giddy up. Velocity 90 feet per second. Foam chimichanga. Oh. Everything seems pretty ordinary aside one thing. And I wonder if the blaster is the same. This barrel is red. The door is red. This trigger is red as well as the sling point. Let's check what's inside the box. Uh, yes, looks like everything is red on it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is just this is just a foam chimichanga. I mean Maybe in an HVZ game, or you can throw this. Yeah, you can throw this at someone, and you will not hurt him at all. This thing really soft. Don't give this to a dog or something. This is not a dog toy. This is just a collectible with a Deadpool logo on it. It's a foam chimichanga. Still, it's cool. As for ooh, look at those round, black and white round, and they look like the mold is pretty new. They are very definite. This thing, this Chronos. Is listed in Marvel Legend. Oh, the other side is not the same. And it's painted both sides. Wow. Maybe. Wow. No, this thing is cool. Okay, on the box, the characters are painted deep inside. Okay, same thing for the 500. But other than that, paintwork is neat. Paintwork is better than on some other blaster like the camo series uh, Apollo the paint wasn't as deep as with light but wow I'm not gonna do a fire test because this thing <clears throat> sorry because this thing is basically just a chronos but it's cool there's a lot of red on the blaster this red barrel wow okay red trigger switch the gray and though kind of look nice it remind me of a uh, Nintendo with the NES I don't even want to open those those are too cool and the instruction which are in a chimichanga it was something like a tacos for the the, the other version and this one's a chimichanga with the actual rival blaster drawn on it with the detail that is cool they kind of just show the side with this round Deadpool logo they don't show this side inside of the booklet that's neat this thing is gonna go back in its box I'm not planning on on using this one in a game or something this is too cool wow the gray the gray red i haven't s wow yeah the color scheme is great on it uh 
It's a good blaster. It's a yeah. It's a Deadpool blaster with the eyes on it, like the Apollo. These things are real collectible. It's a little pricier than regular Chronos. It's like double the price. You can have like two regular Chronos for the price of this one. This one was a Nasbro Pulse exclusive, but I managed to get my hands on it uh, at a local EB game. My local EB game always have a lot of good stuff and good Marvel collectible. And it appears that it had this one. Is it any... No, it's not any different. I don't think it's any different than a Kronos. Let's just check it out. I don't think it's gonna be much, much more different. Let's put brand new regular round inside. Okay, I'm gonna put five because it's supposed to have five. Oh, this, the first one is double load. Okay. Okay. Let's open the chronograph and check. 94. And 93.8 looks like this thing have a good average, it's above its 90 FPS advertised average. I didn't have out of the five first round I shot in it with regular rival round, they were brand new, but still. The five first shot ever shot with this one were all above 90. There was a 94.1 for the first one, which was good. So yes, this thing is up to par and I feel a bit more. Uh, don't know. It's a premium item. It's a collectible one. If you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Deadpool fan and you never had a Rival Blaster in your collectible, maybe it's time to get one. Otherwise, if you're a real die-hard Deadpool fan, yes, you would need to get one, but at the end of the day, it's just a Kronos. It do shoot a little harder than my red Kronos, I think. Uh, maybe I can just grab it, yes. If I'm to check out, if I'm to compare two rounds of this chrono, see this was an 85. Let me shoot two more, just to compare. If I go over there, the six, seven, and eight shot I show I, I I just shot through the chronograph or from my red chronos. So my red chronos, which is unmodified, untouched in any point, is shooting considerably lower than this premium Deadpool chronos. So if there would be one advantage, is the power. Otherwise. You need to be a fan, it's a repaint, I understand it, it's a collectible one, there is color you, ha you, you won't see anywhere else, I mean, an all red blaster could be very very cool with this one. This is a neat one, yes, I can't openly recommend you buy it because it's basically just a repaint and I don't I won't I don't see anyone using this thing in a game but this yes it is a good blaster even if it's just a repaint with the Deadpool logo on it and an X-Force design 
It is a good Kronos. It is a good. It is a really good one because apparently it shoot really hard compared to my other one. The Deadpool Chimichanga Kronos. Yes, that is a cool one. I haven't. I, I wasn't expecting to have it so soon or to find it around my house, but yes, it's a neat one. It's not just a repaint, looks like it offer, it's offering the performance. Uh, you could play with this thing easily, I guess, but mine is gonna go back in its box. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram, at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. This was Dave Fatag, see you next time, bye.